Hi everyone, so my last video was kind of a downer, so I figured I'd talk about books. So, I pretty much fail at all the readathons I do, and I know that's not kind of a positive thing to say, but I enjoy doing them. It's just that I've never had the chance to complete them. I'm always just so tired and everything, but no matter how much I try, it just doesn't happen. I tried the 7 and 7. I didn't get through a book. That one's pretty easy, though you can read 7 anything, and I've read, definitely read more than 7 anything. But it's just, like, I don't have the energy to complete full books anymore. Audio has really helped me lately. There's so many books I want to go back to, and that I will, and I will complete, and you guys would definitely get reviews for, for them. But as of right now, it's just a little bit easier to kind of uh, use both printed and audio because of, you know, my schedule and everything else. And sometimes, like, I have scribbed on my phone. And sometimes it's just easier to pop on an audio book, you know, during break and get some of the book that way. Also, Scribd has books that you can read. Not everything they have is audio, unfortunately, but a lot of the time they do have the printed version, which again, it's just a little book on my phone, basically, and I can just take it anywhere. Um, some of the books I just either wasn't feeling or I put them away for a while because others piqued my interest, but you know, I hate DNFing. And some of them, I, it's not that I wasn't liking them, it's just that I wasn't in the mood. But they will definitely be finished. I am listening to more of um, A Great and Terrible Beauty. I've mentioned before that I've read two of Olivia Bray's books and I loved them. This one is more of a supernatural um, historical fiction, which I find quite interesting. And I'm listening to more of Mocking Jay. I'm like on 16 of that one. That is the only one out of the trilogy that I have not reread. And I'm not at the parts where most people start complaining. So I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about it once I get to that part. But. I don't remember disliking it as much as other people do, as I mentioned before, and I still don't. I think it's, I still think it's well written, and I still think it's a pretty decent end to a trilogy, or just any storyline. Um, I'm listening to The Elegance of a Hedgehog. It's a little bit different than I normally listen to, so it's kind of taken me a little bit more to get into. This is a translated book. It's uh, set in France, and it's basically a contemporary. And it's told from the point of view of both an older woman and a young girl. The story is interesting, and I definitely want to pick up more on stuff like uh, contemporary and you know, more adult books and stuff like that. Um, some of my absolute favorites are YA. I just want to branch out a little bit. Um, but I, I, I'm kind of branching out with A Great and Terrible Beauty because most of the YA I think I gravitate towards tends to be kind of... I'm getting more into dystopian, but a lot of it's usually like contemporary. So historical fiction is definitely something different. Um, oh, God, I found Midworld on, uh, Scribd. It's not on audio, unfortunately, but get away, little ant. But it is where you can read it, and I definitely can see why you love this book, because I started reading the first chapter, and... It's definitely a book that seems like it can really pull you in and and 
has good characters, but I'm only like at the beginning, but I just have that sense that it's definitely a story. Yeah, like I said, I definitely can see why you like this because it's, I'm already liking it and I just started it. Uh, Scarlet, I definitely want to go back to that one. That one has no audiobook available, not even on freaking uh, YouTube. So that's a big book I gotta get through myself, but I love it. I love the fact that uh, the story just keeps kind of flowing from where Cinder left off, and we still have some of the characters from before. It just seems to go well into the other, and honestly, I can't wait to get to the next book and find out the stuff that happens. So anyways, that's a quick little wrap up. Right now I'm mainly on A Great and Terrible Beauty, Mockingjay, and Scarlet. But I definitely will be listening to more of the other books. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm in the mood to read today, so... Hmm. I think I'm going to read more Scarlet today. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys.